Hi everyone, it's Tiffany and Jay here, your local real estate agent here in the Los Angeles area. So I started this channel not too long ago in order to provide a platform for our local small business owners to share their story as well as encourage others to shop local. So with that being said, today we are back with another interview with the business owner in Arcadia, California. I'm super excited to introduce him to you guys, but before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with your friends and family because for every video that you're sharing, you're also supporting a local owner nearby. All right, let's get started. Thank you so much for being back on my channel today on Support Local. Like I told you, I'm excited to bring on someone. Um, this is Jordan Alexander. He's a personal fitness coach here in Arcadia, California. And we're actually right here in his gym, so. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing, Jordan? Doing great, Tiffany, I'm doing great. Thanks for How having me. Yeah, thanks for coming by. Tell yeah. us a little bit about yourself and what made you become, you know, a personal fitness trainer? All right. Um, yeah. So, like she said, my name's Jordan Alexander. I am 33 years old. Man, it's crazy to say that. I'm like, where's the time go? It's 33 <laughs> years old. Um, I've been a personal trainer, certified personal trainer, for about 10 years now. Um, I'm based in the Arcadia area, born and raised in Pasadena. Um, which Arcadia High School, so nice. it's only right that I established myself and my business here where home is. Um, and yeah, so what started me as a trainer, or what started my fitness journey actually was, um, it's actually kind of like, I guess, depressing, I guess coming from like a sad story. Back when I was younger, I was a little bit overweight. I also experienced some bullying, you know, like, like a lot of people have experienced that. I and, would never um, imagine that, by the way. No, it happened. I mean, that's why I had to get to 200 pounds because I'm over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so there were certain things. Um, and then just other things, too. I was always an athlete. So I realized that to be my best and to perform and to feel comfortable, I had to be strong and fast and fit and all that and coordinated and all the things that come with fitness. Right. Um, so that kind of started me in my journey, which kind of getting out of this depressed point. And then once I realized that you could utilize fitness to like enhance your mood and just like mm -hmm. become a more self-confident person, Absolutely. I was like, I got to share this with everybody, you know? So it's a great feeling, you know, it wasn't more... It wasn't so much an aesthetic thing. It wasn't like, oh my God, I had to get a six pack. Or it was more like, it was just good for my mental. Mm. And then that's what I wanted to share with people, you know? And then of course, the physique is just an added bonus. <laughs> you know, it's an <laughs> added bonus, so. And it, yeah. I mean, it's tough. It's tough to get to, you know, where you were to where you are now. So oh, yeah. props to you. I know Thank working you. out isn't tough. for everybody. It definitely takes a lot of it's a mental business. discipline. Yeah, yeah, it does. To even get started and to, to keep going. That's a hard thing, right? Yeah, it's Because once you're there, you're like, all right, how do I maintain this body? Because I look good, I feel good, now yeah. I gotta keep going, so. I'm gonna be honest, this, this uh, profession, you get a little bit of body dysmorphia, because you kind of like, oh. even <laughs> when I was like super lean and super ripped, there was always something else that I was chasing, so mm, I just feel I like, yeah, you're always chasing something. You're always trying to get better. Right. So that's the cool thing. And then the cool thing is that there is always room to improve. Always, you're never okay. perfect, you know, <laughs> so there's always something you can get better at. Okay. You know? Yeah. Awesome. So. We're out here hustling, people. Support us. <laughs> <laughs> He's not lying. <laughs> no. Telling the truth. Yeah. Right, so yeah. tell us a little bit more if a client were to come through here and, you know, how would you assess them and how do you put yeah. them into a, a curriculum that works best for them? Right. So first off, meeting someone of right off the bat, walk in, they don't know me, I don't know them, 
first off, I just got to get to know them, right? Like, try to get to know them. What's your life story? What are you about? What hurts you? What's your, what have you tried in the past? What worked? What didn't? What do you like? What do you don't like? It's right. just like, you know, what television show do you like? I'm trying to get to know you on a deep level. <laughs> um, so that's the first thing, is getting to know that. And then figuring out what it is they want. You know, okay. what is it is there? A lot of people um, are coming in for health reasons. A lot of people are coming in because they're just sick and tired of being overweight. So right. it's kind of finding like, what's their emotional drive? Right. What, like, what's their real reason for coming in? If somebody comes in and says, oh, I want a six pack and stuff, I'm like, okay, that's very, that's fickle. It's not, it's, it's, it has no ground, it has no foundation. So it's like, let's focus on like, okay, well, what, where are your weaknesses? So, okay, we can't, upper body's weak, lower body, you have no stamina, no conditioning. Gotcha. Let's work on those okay. things. And then by focusing on those things, they get what they want. Okay. You know, they'll get their, their end result. Um, but it just depends on the person. Yeah, getting to know them. If they're just trying to rehab something, they want to be stronger. They, right. Yeah, so it just really depends. So that's how I would assess somebody first, just getting to know them. How do I discover someone's weaknesses? Yeah, just through trial and error, right? So we'll be like, okay, so let's see. Let's focus on upper body strength. We'll start with body weight exercises, simply, oh, okay. right? Just body weight stuff. Push-ups, okay. lunges, squats, um, what's called hinging, being able to control your body and just bending over from the hips and coming back. So body oh. control stuff. We we'll mm. start off with that. Because okay. a lot of people have a hard time keeping their back straight or, you know, keeping their knees out, their butt no, back on the squat. Cautious yeah, like, are we all hunched today. over? Are we kind of like got our pot? So like, it's analyzing those things without weight um, okay. and just understanding how the body moves and posture and all that. Mm -hmm. And then building from there with free weights. Um, free weights, for anyone that doesn't know, it's just dumbbells. So dumbbells or kettlebells, those are free weights. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, we move on to the gym equipment. You know, the machines, okay. the barbell, squats, all that stuff. So there's like a step process that we go through, you know. But okay. we try to check them all off. That's good. Do you provide your clients with a, a pre-meal plan? Uh, yes. So... Um, after getting to know them and getting to know what their likes and dislikes, what kind of foods they like, if they have any allergies or anything like that, mm. um, I do make customized meal plans for them. Um, how I do this is I use foods that they like and then I calculate it in my fitness pal. So it's a little bit of a tedious process, mm. um, but I have been doing this for a while. So I have a bunch of like base meal plans um, and they all go for about four weeks at a time. So if a client continues and keeps going, they get the next nutrition plan as they keep going, you know, so they can kind Got of it. collect more meal plans and just have more variety. So does that yeah. come with the package? That does come with the package. It's all okay. included. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So at this time of the video, are you able to share, you know, what those prices are looking like? Um, yeah, I can share that with you. So um, it just really depends on what the individual is looking for. If they would like a more personalized touch, like one-on-one, -on -one, okay. um, or if they're coming in with a friend, a spouse, a coworker, um, you know, anyone in doing what's called a semi-private program, mm. which is um, probably one of my more uh, popular training plans um, because it leverages the cost. Okay. Um, but it just really depends. And then I have group training, right, where I take people in here. It's probably like groups of four to eight mm. people. It's mm. either indoor or outdoor. We do that here at Arcadia High School in the evening. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, so yeah, so different tier price plans. Um, typically, I like to keep things even in simple numbers. So like for a session of like, let's just say 10 sessions, um, which ideally we would try to get done within about a 30 day time period. So I like to try to keep training sessions close because like if people make 10 sessions last a year, we're not going to get results and it's not right. a very good business plan for me, right? right. <laughs> it's not, That's yeah. True. So there's no longevity if people stretch out 10 sessions. Anyways, um, so typically that runs around um, 500 for okay. private. So this is private and you're going to be in a gym like this, probably alone or not with many people, which is mm. something that we offer. Um, because like, let's just say if you're coming in at a uh, peak time, either in the morning or the night, 
Everybody knows how busy 24-hour fitnesses are. Everybody knows how busy Absolutely. these gyms are and nobody wants to go in there. Mm. So we like to give that personal touch and for what, $50 a session? It's That's almost of a steal. Yeah, That's including like half the meal the price plan. of a 24-hour Exactly, it's half day. the price, so there's <laughs> that. Um, and then for group training, it's I usually do 12 session packages. So that's okay. for three a week. All right. So 12 sessions is three training sessions a week. And you can get that for just 300 a person. So let's just say mm -hmm. if two people are training together. Mm -hmm. So say if Tiffany was bringing her friend, mm -hmm. she would come in, she would pay 300, her friend would pay 300 and they would get 12 sessions. I think the math is like $75 a week for that. Wow. So it's a great rate. Wow. Yeah, it's a great rate. So All right, whoever wants to come join exactly. me. Exactly. <laughs> and we do payment plans too, so whatever okay. is easiest. Yeah. So do you so, guys take like Venmo, yeah, Cash Venmo, App? Yeah, Venmo, Cash okay. App, everything, cash checks, got it. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> any form of payment, yeah, we just make it real affordable and easy and mm. no stress. So just negotiate, just Communicate mm -hmm. with me, with us, with the team here, and we'll work with you. you know? so. Okay, awesome. Well, yeah. good information, Sweet. good yeah. stuff. Yeah, thank you, Tiff. Yeah. So I have another question. Okay. Um, what would you say in your own words sets you apart from other personal fitness trainers? Ooh, okay, good one. I would definitely have to say experience and passion. Um, I've definitely... So I've been doing this for 10 years and I bounced mm. around to a lot of different gyms and I've been working for a lot of different private facilities and whatnot. And you know, a lot of trainers come and go, some people are around for three, four, five years or they got like other side hobbies or whatever. Right. Um, this is my passion. I've been doing this for 10 years um, yeah. and I give, this is like my plan A, my plan B, my plan C. I do mm -hmm. have other things that I dabble in, but mm -hmm. fitness is always there to stay. Like even if I have goals of getting on with uh, real estate or any other venture, mm -hmm. fitness is the one that will always be there. There's always something like, how can I like always take care of clients and help other people? So I would say passion, mm -hmm. um, experience, right? 10 years, a lot of people give up on this Two, three years in, they're done, they moved on to something else, right? right? right. Um, someone who's stuck with it this long and, you know, I started from training outside, right? Mm -hmm. And I never worked for a corporate gym. So I don't know about, I started off just out there handing flyers, meeting people, shaking hands, kissing babies. That's how I got every <laughs> single client from the get-go, you know? So I don't know right. how many other people can say that. A lot of other trainers start in a corporate gym setting. Right. They started off with Gold's or LA Fitness. Um, right. No, this was just something that I was like, you know what, I'm going all in. And, yep. You know, it's tough. You know? I respect that. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's tough. And uh, there were a lot of crazy nights and just like, you know, am I gonna make rent this month? But, right. um, you know, you stick with it, you persevere, and now we're here. Okay, so one final question for our viewers today. What would be an advice or a tip that you can share with us all? Um, all right, so one piece of advice or mm -hmm. tip is, um, this is gonna sound cliche, but it's also just, just be patient. We're always so eager. We live in a very fast paced world right. and instant gratification and right. all that and Instagram and we're always comparing and sizing up. And I just say like, look, just be patient. like. Focus on you, stay in your lane, don't worry about anybody else, just fall in love with the process and the journey and be patient with it and everything will come. I guarantee it. Yeah. So I sad. love that. Yeah. That Thank was you. well said. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jordan. Appreciate Friday. that. Thank you so much, Tiff. I appreciate it. And so for anyone who's interested, where can they find you? Multiple places. <laughs> Um, so website is uh, blueribbonfitness.com. You okay. can message me there or on my Instagram. I have two bodies by Jordan. It's my personal, and then there's Blue Ribbon Fitness. Okay. Um, just at those, and yeah, just find me there. Okay. Yeah, or email blueribbonfitness at gmail. Super simple. Yeah. I'll link so, those cool. below for you guys yeah. as well. <laughs> Well, thank you for your time. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank of course. You so much. Well, thank you guys. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye. Bye.